let's see where to place these PDE equations. We have k para 1.2 divided by tau divided by k by l, time integral 2 times the delay, derivative time, 0.5x the delay. Finally, calculate parameters of digital PID control with Q0, Q1, and Q2 equations brought from previous videos. All done in voice setup as configurations and initial calculations when Arduino is energized. We proceed to load the program. There it must be loading. Perfect. It has loaded perfectly and now we proceed to verify the control with the MATLAB interface, ensuring its accuracy and functionality. We then open the MATLAB interface, the TS Lab. In the next video, we do it directly with the serial plotter. Once we have the interface open here, let's see that it effectively detected it on COM14. It is showing 32 degrees. Let's then set a set point and test how that PID by Seeger and Nichols works for us. Let's set a set point, I don't know, of 50. And let's see if it actually controls. The advantage of doing it here in MATLAB is that we can save the graph. Once we finish, we will see what reaches 40 and we will send the set point. Here, we see that the set point has already been injected. It activated the maximum control law, which was 100%. We see that it seems to begin to rise slowly from below. We will see how it responds. We are going to accelerate this video because we know it is a bit slow. At this point, we can observe how the PD controlled by Sigirinico works perfectly, ensuring precise control. This demonstrates the effectiveness of utilizing MATLAB for control analysis and visualization. If you want to learn how to program this control algorithm, I've got something special for you. I've created a Udemy course focused on teaching you how to program and apply different control algorithms directly on Arduino. This course is designed to take you from the basis all the way to advanced applications using practical examples in real-world scenarios. Simple, click on this card or the link in the video description to enroll in the course at special discount. This discount is only available through these links, so you won't find it if you search directly on Udemy. You'll have lifetime access to the course and can progress at your own pace. You can ask me any question about covered topics and I will always be here to answer them. At the end of the course, you will earn a certificate of completion. So. I hope to see you in the course. And since we are here talking about the set point, let's check if the controller is capable of rejecting disturbances. For this case, I am going to proceed to ventilate the transistor. We are going to make a disturbance of the impulse type, which consists of me ventilating the transistor for a short period of time, the temperature should start to decrease, and the controller will have to react to reject said error. Perfect, then we observe the proper functioning of our PID control. In this instance, tuned by Sigrid Nichols, we observe that the initial set point of 50 takes the controller approximately 120 seconds to reach the reference. Here, when we inject the disturbance that ventilates the transistors, notice that the temperature dropped. However, the controller started to react. And I take the controlled variable back to the reference here. I injected another 70% upward step. Again, the controller managed to bring the controlled variable to the reference having a very similar dynamics to the initial one of 120 here. More or less it also took about 100 seconds to reject the disturbance. And let's observe that here, I placed a downward step. There the controller has to start to turn off all transistors normally. For this process, the descending steps will be a little slower than the ascending ones because the maximum that the controller can do is turn off the heater and it must start cooling slowly by inertia unlike when the step is ascending that the controller can simply for example 
inject maximum power and thus the temperature would rise much faster. In the temperature decrease it would not have a way to cool maybe by placing a fan or something similar. It would help to cool much faster. We see then properly that the PID control works very well. If you are interested in seeing the code and learning more about implementing controllers in real life using microcontrollers like Arduino, I invite you to enroll in the course. Click here to access the discount. Also, check out our playlist for more insights. I look forward to seeing you in the course. Take care and see you later.